My name is Riley Monlock. Um, uh, my role, role is water resources engineer, so I've been here about six years now. I create computer models that predict where flooding is going to occur so that people can plan for that flooding and protect against it. A typical project will generally start out with collecting data, I and mean, that's going to depend on the type of project. So for creating a model of uh, an urban area, you're going to need to collect a lot of um, storm sewer data. The surveyor will pop open the manhole and actually measure down how far down the pipes are and what size those pipes are. We have used the IBAC camera, and that's pretty cool technology where they drop it down and it can scan the whole manhole and you end up with like a point cloud of data where you can pull elevations off of. And we'll combine that with topographic data, basically a map of the elevations of the ground surface. The next step would be using land use and soil types to estimate the rainfall runoff that would occur um, for a given design storm. That can be used as another input to the model to ultimately give us a, a map of where we expected to flood, how deep we expect it to be. Um, clients do typically engage us for a number of different reasons. There are a lot of cities that have really quite undersized storm pipe or infrastructure where they're seeing flooding far, far more often or every year or multiple times a year. And yes, sometimes it is reactive. They've had a severe flood and now they realize they have a problem. Most often it's the regular flooding that they do see that kind of drives the need for projects. Due to climate change, these sort of issues are only gonna keep getting worse and we're gonna to have to keep coming up with more and more resilient designs. And we need more people who um, have these skills and can do these important projects. Because if you enjoy project solving and figuring things out, uh, there's a lot of challenging flooding issues to solve. It's not always straightforward. A lot of times if you're dealing with a project in a well-developed area, there simply isn't room for um, some simple solutions and you have to get more creative. It's a field of work where what you're doing can actually directly benefit people and you can see the benefit of that over time.